Good morning, letter carriers. You are a beautiful sight to take in here. Thank you, President Renfro, for having us here. Welcome, all of you, to our great city in Boston. And can we hear it for our base staters? President Scott Doughty, President Tom Rooney, and, your, and our hosts at Branch 34, President Greg Samalak and Framingham, Framingham's own Branch 334. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for making the Commonwealth proud. It is such a privilege to have you all in town this week, and what a fitting place to chart your future, the birthplace of the American Mail Service. Sorry, not sorry, Philadelphia. I know you're in the house, but it was in this city in 1639 that Fairbanks Tavern became America's first post office, and where else but in a Boston bar? <laughs> Cliff Clavin would be very proud. From that first outpost, news and homesick letters were ferried across the Atlantic, making a vast world feel a bit smaller. And from then until today, letter carriers have fulfilled that same essential mission. You keep this country moving, and you knit it together, delivering medication, paychecks, birthday cards. You have shown America what service looks like. And on behalf of my constituents, on behalf of the entire House Democratic Caucus, we thank you. We thank you for your service to your neighbors, for the selfless work that you carried out during the pandemic, for the nearly two billion pounds of food you delivered to stamp out hunger. And we thank you for your service to our democracy, for the millions of ballots that you will deliver this fall. And we thank you for your service to one another, for standing together because we find ourselves at a crossroads in this country. There are forces of division that are intent on tearing us apart, on turning neighbor against neighbor. There are union busters who are attacking working families and our right to organize. The basic freedoms have been cut off for so many, with politicians even telling you when and how to have children. Plans have been laid out for the economy by those who see a winner's circle that is very small. It doesn't include you. It includes only the very wealthy and the very well connected. But they underestimate the strength in this room, the solidarity that you have and of workers across this country. House Democrats are proud to stand with you because the cornerstone principle of our party is the freedom of working people to stand together, to grow together, to rise together, to win together. We are in your corner, and that's why we put an end to the pre-funding mandate on your health benefits. It is why we are going to honor your work and the security that you should be entitled to with the Protect Our Letter Carriers Act. It is why we are going to grow the labor movement with the PRO Act. And we will always, 
always defend your hard-earned retirement. And we will ensure that those ballots that you deliver on behalf of millions of Americans are counted and respected. And as we prepare for all the challenges and fights ahead, I'm reminded of the living labor legend, Dolores Huerta. During the California grape strike, a reporter asked Dolores what she thought about the doubters the pessimists who said that the workers were not up to meeting the challenges ahead. Her response was, don't stay on the sidelines. Walk the street with us into history. Letter carriers, thank you for being in this fight, for walking that street into history. I am so grateful to get to walk alongside each and every one of you and to see the better world that we can build together for every single working family in this country and for the future that all of our children deserve. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your solidarity. they would love to do. All right. All right. How about a really loud letter carrier cheer for Congresswoman Catherine Clark? Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much.